Hey, we go back again with another quick video, a few updates to do with things happening at Sunderland. First of all, let's start off with the bad news because we've got some good news as well. The bad news is that, unfortunately, Patrick Roberts is injured and will be out up until the next international break and not return till after that at best. So he's going to miss at least two games. The hamstring injury, Patrick Roberts come down with and suffered with against Rotherham. You know, it's one of those things, hamstring, People like Pat Roberts do a lot of running, a lot of speed running. They are sort of the Achilles heel of his, of his body, with his hamstrings, should we say, anyway. Yes, so he's going to be out for up to four weeks. Unfortunately, my source was correct, but I do wish him a speedy recovery. Someone like Patrick Roberts in the side is a massive asset, and I do like his style. You know, sometimes he does hold on to the ball a bit too long, but that's what it is. You know, you get the good with the bad, and sometimes he may... He may you know, pass the ball a bit of a strain now and again, but the majority, the majority time, the good outweighs the bad. His his, his, his magic weaving runs down the right hand side, taking on two or three players, squeezing into the penalty box, winning penalties, scoring wonder goals. That's what Patrick Roberts brings to the team, and he's definitely an asset to Sunderland. And I want to see him back sooner rather than later. But I do feel like. Pritchard could be the one to slot in to Patrick Roberts' place, bring Pritchard into the team. Because that could be the same team as the last few games of Pritchard possibly coming in. Now, this is what we need. We need strength and depth. <clears throat> for, for exactly for reasons like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Injuries can happen at any time to any player and Son and do seem to get their lion fair share of injuries and Patrick Roberts with him being injured there's now an opportunity for someone else to grasp the horn grasp the nettle and really put his claim on a place in the Sunderland team and Patrick Roberts you know for me he's been good the start of the season being a good player at the start of the season so we need now someone else to step up to the mark and Pritchard we need to keep him don't let Pritchard go in this window you know we need a, you know the players like Pritchard I think I think I've seen I've seen a fitter more enthusiastic and a better Pritchard in the first part of the season in the pre-season first part of the season looking very sharp compared to last season so I do like Pritchard last in full games so for me he's the ideal person to come in with that experience as well especially against Coventry and I think he'll do a good job so keeping Pritchard happy at the same time is, is also an asset we need to keep alive we need to keep Alex Pritchard in the side 100% yes he's 30 now yes the club like the younger players but we do need some experienced players keeping in this side and to go with experienced players Danny Bard apparently according to Alan Nixon I think that's the son has pulled out of the deal against Black with Blackburn Rovers. Now, if that's the case, that's fantastic. He's pulled out because he wants to fight for his place. And my source has always told me that Danny Bart wants to stay at the club. He wants to fight for his place. He wants to play football. He's only 32 years of age. Yes, the experience of someone like that. Have, you know, have seven or eight young players in there we need a couple of experienced players in there a couple of wise heads to keep these to keep these young lads grounded i think danny bart i hope this is true touch wood please be true we want them to stay but at the end of the day if KLD, if speakman want danny bart out they'll find a way to ship him out of the club touch wood hopefully they'll realize we need experience in this side We've seen it last season at the back end of the season. Like I said, Ballard, the centre-back got injured. Danny Bart, we lost him for the for the last few games. So experience in defence is what we need. Yes, look, 9 is good at getting the ball out of defence, running with the ball, good passing, a bit more speed. Danny Bart's good for those no-nonsense challenges, you know, keeping the clean sheets. And yet to keep a clean sheet this season. And Danny Bart could be the one to come in and keep the clean sheets. But will he be played just yet? Well... Ifs and buts and maybes, we'll have to see. But I do hope he gets a start. I do hope that is true. Danny Bart has pulled out of the Blackburn move. That will be absolutely fantastic. A nice tonic going into this, going into the, the weekend. But also, Juice and Benetti did not start in the under 21s, 23s the other night. Didn't start, didn't get on the, on the team at all. So does that mean, is Benetti going out on loan? Or is he going to have some sort of major role to play in this weekend's game against Coventry? Watch this space for the young lad. Now also, there is rumours out there, and strong rumours. I've had a word with my source, and he says that there is talk around the club. And also, he feels confident this will happen. But Zora Lonsky, this 
guy on Twitter from the Ukrainian representative guy on Twitter has said that the young lad Narizy Russian is 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 set to become a Sunderland player. The striker, wide player, maybe winger slash striker, is set to become a Sunderland player in the next week. Medical due next week. Contract to be signed. Maybe medical could be done even next couple of days. If this is true, this is this is good because we need a striker and stroke winger, of course. Four-year deal plus a one-year extension could be happening for this Ukrainian player. Now, he's 24 years of age. He's a bit older than some of the ones that we have in, but not got great deals of experience. Dynamo Kiev, 33 games, seven goals. Went to Luhansk, 14 games, five goals. Then went to Dipro, eight games, one goal. And now he plays for Luhansk, 30 games, 13 goals in total. And on Wikipedia, and we do know Wikipedia sometimes just does what it wants. It is now saying 2023, he is a Sunderland AFC player. So watch this space. Yes, if Wikipedia says it, that means it's correct. So if it is true, happy days. We're getting somebody in finally. And also we could be getting a loanee player in G as well. So the young lad from, from Fulham, he could be coming as well. So now I don't know if these are being placed to start the weekend. Probably not. We'll have to go with the team behind me there. So there we go. Good news. Touchwood Danny Bart has pulled out the Blackburn. But take Alan Nixon with a pinch of salt. This contact the Ukrainian Twitter bloke seems to know what he's talking about. And also my source says, yes, 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 conversations going on. So hopefully we'll get in. He's, he's, a, he's a under 17, under 18, under 19, under 21 international player as well. So let me know your comments down below. What's your thoughts on Alan Nixon from the Sun for starters to do with Danny Bart? Is the mate on the bones with that? The Ukrainian striker. Again, he's not called Russian. I don't know how to pronounce his name properly. I do apologise. I'm not good with pronunciations of names. Some of you don't like it. Some of you think I do it on purpose, but I flipping don't. I'm just dyslexic and, you know, not clever to boot. But there we go. So what's your thoughts on him coming, this young lad? Um, Nazariah, Russian. He'd be quite good. Be quite good. I, I would, I'd like to see him come in, 24 years of age. Another body in, in. But we need to keep the likes of Gooch, Danny Bard, and also Pritchard. So there you go. Speedy recovery, Patrick Roberts. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Quick video. Now I'm going to make a video for Mads out and about somewhere in Sunderland. And watch the space. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. Please subscribe to the channel. Take care. And we'll see you for the live stream on Saturday, if not some team news tomorrow night. Watch this space. What am I talking about? See you later.